Good morning. So if you've been recently walking across a lake on the ice or ice skating, you might ask yourself, well, where are the loons right now? Because they're certainly not on the lake. And uh, what's really interesting about these birds is that although they're really territorial on the lakes when they live there, they get up in groups and they fly to the ocean for the winter. And if you happen to be uh, walking along the coast of Maine right now or uh, anywhere along the east coast down the Chesapeake, you might see some loons that are in the ocean during the winter. And that's where they uh, spend their winters. And in fact, the young birds, the ones that are one to three years old, will actually spend part of their summers in the oceans as well. As soon as the lakes start opening up during the spring, you'll start to see the loons coming back. And in fact, what they do is they will sort of hopscotch up into the inland area. So as the lakes open up further south, they'll hang out there and then they'll start to move their way north. So a pretty interesting thing about the loons is that the loons that breed in lakes that are uh, closer to the ocean tend to be much larger than those that breed further inland. And the reason for this is loons are highly territorial during the breeding season and the bigger birds are the stronger ones and they are able to defend their territories. But the ones that are uh, further away, they have further to migrate and the bigger they are, the harder it is for them to fly. So they need to be smaller. So from a uh, evolutionary biology standpoint and something that I think is a lot of, a lot of fun is that there are two th conflicting things working on these birds. They want to be bigger so they can defend their territories, but they also need to be smaller if they're further away from the oceans to be able to fly. Well, I guess we're still uh, a little ways away from the uh, loons starting to migrate back inland, but uh, it's a sunny day and uh, it's starting to feel like spring to me, and I guess I'm uh, the optimist for spring. So uh, keep your questions coming and uh, have a great day.